you can see, beautiful night for action here tonight. 83 degrees under partly cloudy skies. We even throw a little star filter to make the lights accent for you. Here's your starting lineups for Andrew Burr's Furman Paladins. You can see they will go with a 4-3-3 uh, for uh, them here this evening. It'll be interesting to see how Clemson goes about attacking this setup. Corn there in, in net has been pretty good through the first four games uh, in particular. Flip it over and we'll take a look at the Clemson starting lineup. And he'll come at you like this. Danny Davis, you can see highlighted there. Four starts with a goal for uh, Davis. And Davis, another freshman face on this ball club. And the young freshman three started the season out on the pitch for Eddie Radwanski and the freshmen so far have delivered. Yeah, and you look at the wide players and Tobiah, and then on the other side, Tatum Short. Short. Really good take on Art as well. That's a pretty dangerous front line now that they've deployed Megan Bornkamp as a center forward. Central Spirit Gang is here with the drums. You'll hear that throughout the entire broadcast. And Clemson shows up in the grays, the home grays, and Furman in the traveling purple for them. We are not that far away from getting things kicked off and ready to go. So sc school has been in since the 23rd of, of August. So come here, you can relieve a little bit of that school here at a soccer match on campus. Actually, the guys will play right back here. The Clemson guys will play right back here in this same setting tomorrow night. South Carolina will come rolling into town. That's a big in-state rivalry. And of course, we'll be back here on Sunday for the women's match with Western Carolina. Western Carolina, another Southern Conference opponent will come in to take on Clemson. So Furman will kick things off. We are underway and we will send it down the sideline and that'll become a throw in. Back deep. Furman will come back there and pressure. They'll be able to get it to Makowitz. And it'll be sent out of bounds for a throw in. Looking for Tobia. Ball again headed up the sideline. Get it there onto the foot of Far. Far has it touched away. So another throw in here. Here's Ellie Herman, sophomore out of Charlotte. And he's just going to double team things. In the deep corner, Furman plays it. Clemson not going to touch that. Again, it'll be another throw in. So this is like an end of a game. It's like it's like Furman's playing with a two nothing lead. There's a centering pass goes up and over everyone. It'll be chased down by Short. Clemson really for the first time tonight with possession. Yeah, it's been a little harem scarum here to start with, but. I think they'll be very methodical and take their time. Just as you say that, they try to play forward. That's always the way it of happens, course. Kevin. Lyles. This is the right middle of the field, Born Camp. Tatum, double team had it touched away. Yeah, really nice defending there, but that's. Those are the situations that Coach Radwanski wants Tatum Short involved in. Clemson will take over possession of it. Here's Harper White. And that's what Hal Hirschfeld does so well for this Clemson team. She's able to, to break up counterattacks. Trying to push it forward, Aaron Pass. They were looking to get it to McKenna Morris. Here comes Furman back with it once again as Herman Feeds it forward, gets it to the foot of Far. Far can't control. That's good from Sidney Maneric, just keeping possession. 
Kenobi will play it back to White. And then pushed across. Looking for Bornkamp, but well defended backside there by Poplin, who we featured in the open. Well, that's one of the, one of her characteristics, right, Don? She can just read the game so well. She anticipates the pass before it happens. She's able to just get a little half step, win that ball. Touch it back to White. Green space, she'll carry it. Ooh, trying to push it through. Teammate did not fill, was it expecting McNart to go through. Here's an opportunity, Morris out front, going to feed it, shot fired, and whistle blue and offside. Yeah, Clemson unable to capitalize there. She was just a fraction offside. Morris pounced on the loose ball, and that Furman back line stepped quickly. Former kicker will go back and take a look at this. And you're going to see Born Camp's going to be the one that just gets caught. I tell you, that's very, very close, Don. Back to live action as Addison Korn scoops it up. Massey push it back. That's well done from Sidney Maneric making Massey play negative. Ben Goff. It's a good job breaking pressure from Furman there. Gutierrez can't control it. It'll be sent out of bounds for a throw in here for Clemson. So leave it for McNarrick. The ball headed down, headed for the end line, but stopped. The ball deflected. Player down, but they play on. Duff turns it to Davis. Hirschfeld feeds it backside. McNarrick. Morris had it stripped away, but they'll keep it alive. Tobia going to look for the cross. Chips it across. Backside header and in. Megan Bornkamp finds herself free at the back post, and she doesn't make a mistake, Don. Another assist for Tobia. Well, and that's where she's dangerous. And she can get isolated one-on-one. -on -one. That time she elects to drive to the end line. And a really nice, nicely weighted ball to the back post there. Keeper commits to it. And Bornkamp just goes far post. But the touch on this, Kevin, I mean, that's just served in perfectly. Bornkamp, her first goal of the year. So one nothing, Clemson. Well, you'd have to think that's a dream start the first five, six minutes of the match to, to go ahead and get that first goal at home. Clemson again trying to organize an attack. Here's Camp. Settled by Tobia. She'll go 1v1. Touched away, but Hirschfeld right there. Morris trying to control. Couldn't. It's well defended. Massey feeds it. And again, another well defended and a little push off there. Foul call on Hannah Farr. I think she was just unfortunate, just tangled up a little bit with Harper White. Head coach of the Furman Paddlings, man there, the gray shirt and cap, Andrew Burr. See Southern Conference Coach of the Year in 13 and 17 for NCAA tournament appearances. Yeah, certainly looking to get back to the national tournament, the last trip there in the spring of 2021. Davis trying to get it in, comes right back to her. Traffic cannot be controlled. Trying to clear it, but a nice job of settling it is Duff. 
for White. Tobia. And Narek feeds it off. McKenna Morris. She's going to look for the cross. Carries it deep. And he forces a corner. Ball goes off the foot of Bengoff out. So a corner here coming for Clemson. Yeah, fluid little combination play there and gets McKenna Morris in a 1v1 situation. She's so quick to get to the end line. Draws the second defender. Turns Clemson a corner, and this is where Tobia can be dangerous with her serves. As we saw in the, in the open, scored on one. Goes back deep again, another header out front that's going to be cleared by the backside defense. Settled though in the box. Here by Clemson again, Tobia chips it. That ball touched out by Korn. Ooh, nice little play there. Left footed shot deflects. And Clemson will keep the pressure. Short. And cross it to Tobia. Tobia cuts left side, carries it in. Left footed shot fired. Diving stop by Korn. Good save from Korn there. Morris chips it in. Korn coming out, but headed out by teammate in front. There's Hal Hirschfeld just going to try to keep the pressure on Furman here. That's what she does so well is break up play. Miscommunication there. Furman jumps on it, pushes it to the Clemson side. Luckett controls. Duff, though, picks her up, picks the pocket. Lyles with it. Kenna Morris. Is it touched away? And we're going to get a foul call there on Morris. Go back, watch this other challenge here. In Clemson, this is Tobia's shot. Great save here, Corn. Yeah, does well. She realizes she can't handle it with the with the pace on the shot, so she just parries it away out of danger. But Toby has shown a little bit of versatility, cutting inside and putting on her left after she drove to the end line earlier. Ball headed out, but it ricochets off. Opportunity here for Furman. And whistle. I think she's going to say she handled that ball there. Yeah. Inadvertent, but it's a foul nonetheless. Allie Makowitz will touch things off. Clemson controls backside. Harper White. Narek push it forward, chipping it, looking for Morris. Couldn't quite get there. Poplin stepped in. One more time with the foot of Far, and she can't control. Born camp. Nick will play it back. And Harper White will push it all the way. Back to Makowitz. White pushes it forward. Hirschfeld, head up, plays it off. Eric back to Bourne Camp. Push it through looking for Tobia. Nope. Hirschfeld instead will flip the field. And you can see Danny Davis there just sneaking inside as that inverted fullback trying to get on the ball in the center of the pitch. Hirschfeld has it headed right back to her. And we'll carry it middle of the field. Tobia, Born Camp feeds Tobia. They're going to look for the feed here. There's a little touch cross, and it'll be behind the net on top of the net. Head coach of the Clemson Tigers is that man right there, Eddie Redwanski. See, 13 seasons here. 2016 ACC Coach of the Year. 
128 W's, not bad. And I think there's going to be several more to come this year. This is one of the, the most talented and deepest teams I think he's had in these 13 years. If something tells me, if you talk with, with Coach Redwanski, he was not extraordinarily happy with the way that his club finished off last year. You know, that was kind of a point of emphasis, I think, with, with everyone in the program. Yeah, I think there's been a lot of talk about getting past that first round match and making a deep run, getting back to a Sweet 16, maybe an Elite Eight. He feels like this team is capable of doing that if they play well. Well, in talking with him preseason, one of the things that he taught, he put a lot of, of last year on him. He said, you know, I just play in players way too many minutes early on in the season and then into mid part of the season. You know, like, you know, like Hirschfeld is a prime example. Instead of playing them 90, there you see the eight six, sweet 16 appearances for women's soccer here. But instead of playing her 90, you know, I need to play her 65 or 60 minutes. You know, make sure that she's got fresh batteries once you get late October and into November. Yeah, the, the college season is a grind. And when you talk about you're your starting your matches in mid-August through mid-November and you're playing 18 matches, it's not like a professional setup where you're playing once a week and you've got a whole week to recover. You know, playing multiple games during a week and the regeneration and the health of the players is so important. Yeah, after this one tonight here for Clemson, three more out-of-conference opponents, Western Carolina, Arkansas, Georgia, and then the ACC schedule will start. Yeah, of course, they'll have Western on the weekend, but Arkansas and Georgia, Arkansas, a, a team that can make a deep NCAA tournament run, and Georgia, I think, is, is on the rise again. Two tough matches before you open conference play. Clemson up 1 0 on the goal by Bourne Camp. Just a little over five minutes in. And Eric. And you get a little glimpse of, of one of the things that Harper White does so well. Such an intelligent soccer player. She's quick to drop off and just give a couple of yards of extra space. She's always an option for the. Either the other center back or her outside back. Just release the pressure, get the ball, reset. Be patient in possession. Davis with it. Sends it off short. Short carries it in the box. Out front looking for Morris. Touched it back. Born camp, Tobia. She'll come to the left side again, that foot. Swings through and a one hopper to Korn. Uh, Korn did well to hold that. A lot of pace on that shot from Tobia. Second time we've seen her come left side and use that left foot. A good spell of possession for Clemson to be patient, to, to wait for that moment. Peels for handball. Looking for it, but didn't get it. Clemson side. Massey feeds it off. Luckett trying to push it forward to far. Well played by White. And well read by Harper White. Not a bad idea though from Luckett just trying to find that penetrating pass. Hirschfeld pushes it off McNerick. Long pass, Bourne Camp settles that well. Right back to Midner again. Here's Bourne Camp with it one more time. Going to cross it, looking for short. Boy, that's a good ball there. Short settles it outside, fires a right footer! Well, if your opening goal of the season for the freshman Tatum Short, it wasn't that special. Wow. Draws her fifth start of the season here tonight and has her first point as a Clemson Tiger. Buried it high and right. Well, and all of that results, Don, from the 
terrific ball, hit with pace, changing the point of attack, unbalancing that Furman defense and unlocking Tatum short in a 1v1 situation. Really all started, though, with the pass right here. Yeah, lovely driven diagonal ball there. Cuts inside. Doesn't get much better than that to score your first career college goal. So 2 nothing Clemson. Clemson might again will just take over possession of the ball, and that's what we have kind of seen now here the last 10 minutes plus now has just been Clemson's been maintaining possession of it. Furman will get a foot on it, and it seems like like was right right here. Somebody from Clemson on top, and here's Toby is stepping in the passing lane and leading a charge. She's going to push it top of the box. Going to try to set up that left foot, looking to touch it off, maybe over to Short. Does gets by Short. She'll have to chase it down. Well, she's an absolute menace, isn't she? Just running at that defense every opportunity. Let's play it back to White. White's got all kinds of green space in front of her. Hirschfeld. Morris spins in. This is onside. Across the net. Oh, it's battling around out front. Whiffs on a shot. Then put up and over the cross by, by Bourne Camp. Oh. I think she was in an offside position anyway, though. That defense was quick to step out. Really nice ball from McKenna Morris, though, getting her hips around that and cutting that ball back. Well, that was like coming right into your living room right there on the camera work, and then Bourne Camp just touches it up and over the crossbar. Actually called the goal kick there. Here's Bourne Camp off the turnover forced by Morris. Well, we talked about earlier in the season that the attributes that she can bring to that role as the nine for this Clemson team and the ability to hold the ball up when she's under pressure from behind. Makes her a good center forward who can act as a target. Eric from Hirschville crosses it in. It's touched back, but settled. Morris turns it. Opportunity again. Across it goes. And Korn got a hand on that one. Off the foot of Board Camp. She was looking for her second of the evening. Well, terrific turn from McKenna Morris to set this up. She sells it that she's cutting inside takes her to the outside, cuts it back, and Korn makes a, a great point blank save for Megan Bornkamp there. Youth and reflexes. Here's Tobia with the corner. Bornkamp header off the frame. Tell you what, 24 <laughs> and everything. One of the reasons she's been in the middle of everything is because there's a lot of young bodies that are around her. We're going to talk a little bit about impact freshmen. Of course, short with a goal already here tonight. But Davis and Tobia. Tobia has played in this thing with her fourth assist of the year. Yeah, two great wide players. Take on artists and then Danny Davis, who really, for me, can be deployed anywhere. Left back, center back, holding midfielder, attacking midfielder. She's kind of got all the tools and, and the high soccer IQs to go with it. Quick throw in for Furman. Nerick trying to mess that up. Far can't control. Onto the foot of Goya. And McNerick will just touch that out of bounds for a throw in. Ellie Furman. Checking out will be far. Right, we're getting our first look here at Valentina Mosquera. Squatter comes in. 
the Adam reigning Adam Southern Square. Conference Player of the Week. Yep. Ball is going to be played off of Furman, off of Mosquera for a throw in. So just try to send that deep. Bourne Camp touches it off, and here's a run. Tobia pushes it outside, seeing if she can use her speed here against Poplin. Nice defense by Poplin as the ball is played back. Morris will chase that down. Hirschfeld head up, plays it off. Davis. That's what Davis wants to do. She wants to just sneak inside, get on the ball. Duff right. trying to play it back to Davis, but played it behind her. Diaz draws a couple of defenders. Clemson doing a good job forward pressing. Short trying to force it back, keeps it in play, and then the ball deflected off of Borncamp for a firm and throw in. I think that's well done from Cameron Bollock there. She has her hands full over there with Tatum Short. Ball kept in bounds along the sideline, settled by Furman. Massey plays it back to Herman. Ben Goff feeds it across Poplin. So everything right now, though, Furman. So they control this in their backside and then being forced negative. Now the biggest thing is, is they're trying to break that first line of pressure, but Clemson is so athletic, they can quickly get numbers behind the ball. Poplin head up, forces it to Goyola. Clemson will take over possession and play it all the way back. To Makowitz. Born Gamp and short pair of goals here for Clemson first half. They lead it 2 0. Long lead. Looking in the direction of Born Camp and settled nicely there by Ben Goff. Got a foot on it, tried to direct it towards Born Camp. But here's Furman in the Clemson zone. Galley pressuring the corner, and then nice turnout there. Danny Davis. Yeah, you get a picture of what makes short. Her special. Trips goes down. Furman with it. And Furman player went down, but they play on. And finally, just relieving the pressure there was Duff. I think there was a foul there, but the referee let it play. Let it play. Saw that Furman was going to retain possession. Ball goes over the end line for a goal. So Clemson, while everybody was opening up, classes here. They were in Utah. Utah State and Utah. You can see there you go. Happy first day of class is what the FDOC stands for. So not a bad way to open up your day of classes, huh? A trip to Utah and a couple of wins for this ball club. Yeah, they were able to see Great Salt Lake, Sundance Resort, their picture MLS game. Most importantly, two wins, two shutouts. 2-0, two and oh, that's right. And I would, I would argue against two pretty good sides. We're talking teams that were in the national tournament last year. Get to play a little bit at altitude as well. Salt Lake right around 45, 4,800 feet. Well, Don, you referenced how Coach Redwanski will want to go deep into his bench here. And he, it's kind of an embarrassment of riches when you take off Megan Borncamp, who you felt like her second goal was coming, and then you throw on Sammy Meredith, who's coming off that hat trick performance against Gardner Webb a right. ago. A game in which Clemson got off 58, that's right, 58 shots. And that's an offside. 
Yeah, it looked like Roller just coming from an offside position. And Coach Andrew Burr, with a thumbs up to his club. That's a long lead pass. Good touch there. Lyles. Lyles fires a shot out front that was just overrun. Meredith had a chance there to make it 3 0. Yeah, and what I really liked about that is Renee Lyles making that penetrating run out of midfield, which triggers the pass from Maneric. Back and watch this. Really good feed. Yeah, it takes a deflection there. And the Furman defender nearly falls for Sammy Meredith. Goff, backside. Diaz plays it back to Poplin. Hirschfeld steps in the passing lane. Opportunity pushes it off. Here's Toby out. Shot fired off the crossbar. Another good opportunity for Toby, but what I like most about that, Don, is you can see when Furman's in possession, she's able to come over and cut off that release pass out wide to the left back, make the field smaller for Clemson to defend. Listen to this thing right here. Absolutely smashes that one off the crossbar. Toby will check out. Also going out is Lyles. And Short checks out as well. Andrew Rewanski goes deep into his bench. Born camp goal five minutes in. Followed up by Short's first goal of the season. Bornkamp assisted on the short goal, so she's got, has been part of both goals here. Pass play behind, but they have to take here and move Harper White up with the sub pattern. Hirschfeld. Miles touches it off. Off on the wing. Winner, force a corner. Emma Winner just trying to drive to that end line. Nicely defended from Ava King. And Danny Davis will drift over here to take the corner. is going to be off of Furman. Good crowd here for a Thursday night affair here at Historic Riggs Field. The opener here for Clemson women's soccer drew 4,700. Nowhere near the, you see the volleyball game at Nebraska last night? 92,000. 92,000. Ball up, headed and in. That was read perfectly. Mackenzie Duff getting her second goal of the year. Also her second header of the year. Man, if we, I'm sure we'll get a great look at this, Kevin, but she read that and it came backside of her teammates. It was almost like a pick and a wall had been set up for her. Yeah, pretty dangerous in swinging whipped ball from Danny Davis there on the corner. Purple smoke out on a Thursday. 
Let's take a look at this here, Kevin. Yeah, she just sneaks in the back post, doesn't she? Beats the Furman defender to it. Oh, an excellent job. Head that ball down towards the turf, and usually good things happen. Yeah, Corn came for it initially. I think she would have perhaps been better served staying on her line. So Corn, who came into this match, giving up what, .53 goals per game so far this year, has gotten lit up for three here first half by Clemson. Duff with her second goal of the year. So Bornkamp, Smart, and Duff have all found the back of the net. Clemson looking for more. Winner pushes it to the end, crosses it out front. Nobody there. And I get chased down, though. Off on the wing by Davis. Hirschfeld fires a long shot. She was looking high and right. Yeah, not a bad idea. She finds herself free about 25 yards out. Decides to go ahead and test corn. Wasn't quite able to steer that on frame, though. Cowbells here tonight amongst the crowd. Get her off to winner. Trying to push it in. Pushed it in and behind the intended Hooser. Here's Morris with it. Yeah, Don, with the Cowbells, Clemson soccer or Mississippi State Mississippi baseball? State, exactly right. Oh, last touch by Clemson. Or throw in. Ava King comes up the sideline. Toss it to Morris, who touches it off to Hirschfeld. Duff with it. Miles. Morris and Hirschfeld. Harper White going to carry it. Clemson just being very patient with probing a little bit. They get it to Morris, a little bit too strong of a touch. And then it'll just be cleared. Pressure relieved by Maggie Miller. She pushes it out of bounds for a Clemson throw in. Subs will come in. Checking in for Clemson. It's Gabby Gambino. Gambino, a sophomore out of Lewiston, New York. A couple of starts. She plays in her fifth match of the year. Oh, turned over and Furman trying to ride it out. Mosquera, double team, leaned on heavily by Duff. It's a good job of Clemson getting numbers behind the ball quickly. Again, has to play it back negative, and here's Diaz with it. She turns it back. Hoplin. Pressure on. They push it back to Corn. Ball to be headed out of bounds and off of Furman, they'll say. It looked like Gambino initially won the header, but perhaps last touch there by Galley. Good touch back. Left footed shot blocked. Marshfeld feeds it to Morris. Held on regardless of the, the personnel, whether it's short. Tobiah, Winner, Manusis, these wide players for Clemson are going to go at players in the final third. 
Shot there by Meredith is deflected and becomes a corner. Manusos will go over and take the corner here for Clemson. McCorn dive, I think, got a hand on that to touch it. Yeah, just the slightest of touches there, kind of threw the timing off for Sammy Meredith. Corn's play on that ball was well timed. White plays it on to Hirschfeld. Nice little move there and finds open territory. Just chop it in towards Meredith, but too strong. Duff will settle. And again, Glenn comes in another long possession. Can't relieve the pressure, though. Centering pass, deflected back out. Again, Hirschfeld going to fire the shot and score! Well, she went for it once before, but there from 25 yards out, the ball falls nicely for her. She makes no mistake. Slams that to the far corner. First goal of the season for Hirschfeld, the 16th of her career, and the lead grows to 4 nothing. Yeah, Emma Winter has a hand in that. She Drives to the end line again, gets a good ball across. Falls nicely for Hirschfeld. She tees it up on that right foot. And that ball just slicing away from Korn. There was perfectly placed nothing Korn could do about that. Yeah, I feel badly for her because some of these shots have just been so well placed. She really hasn't had a, had a fair chance at them. So four different goal scorers for Clemson. It all started with board camp. Then Tatum short scored. Followed by Duff and now Hirschfeld. Clemson again comes on the attack. It off on the wing. Winner. Try to center it. Touched away. Yeah, Ava King did well there defensively. The ball will deflect and go out of bounds. We see Danny Lynch check in. As Morris will come out. Harper White has gone the entire way here first half. Plays it off to Duff, who also was in the starting lineup. We drift to five minutes left here. First half and a 4-0 lead for Clemson. Well, most impressively for me is they've been patient, methodical in possession.
Again, they push it middle. Meredith touches it back, trying to feed it back inside. Ball pushed to the sideline for a throw in here for Clemson. And I think Denny Davis is just trying to release Maria Manusos there. Push it through. Get it to Bruff. Here's a cross, deflected. Ball headed back. Meredith trying to settle it. And we're going to push in a foul call there on Meredith. A little too much contact there with Ava King. Sideline, and then it'll last be touched by King. Now front, Corn comes out, covers it. She read that nicely. You thought just for a second. I think that was Ella Hoosier. Thought she was going to get on the end of it. Clemson, though, again maintains possession. Winner. Hoosier. Again, Hoosier out front. Ball left back, left footed shot fired, and Korn off to her left makes the diving save. Gambino, good foot on that. That was nicely set up. You can see Bruff here on the ball. Gambino just sets it for her. Clemson attacks again. Winner. Trying to cross, and it'll go out of bounds for a corner. Diaz able to, to keep that ball in a wide area. Winner's just giving her no break, continues to, to drive to that inline. Manusos drives the corner in touch, out front, touched again, but blocked and cleared. Harper White turned and picked up Garcia, who was coming at her, and just turns it off easily to the foot there of Gambino. Sixty-five seconds left here in this first half. Four nothing in favor of Clemson. Coming up at. Halftime, we'll hear from the head coach of the Clemson Tigers, Eddie Redwanski, as he'll be taking his team to the locker room and then getting ready to start the second half. Andrew Burr from Furman will visit with us. Scores from around the country as well. Little feature if you're a Clemson fan about Clemson Plus. All of that coming up at the half. Clemson trying for one more push here before the end of the half. Hooser. Become a corner with clock running at 10. Clemson going to have to hustle to get anything off. Hooser plays it short. And that ball will just be cleared over the end line. And we will make it to half. So Clemson with a 4 nothing lead. Goal for Clemson. Still Makowitz. There's the scoring summary. So 
Bornkamp short and duff. Hirschfeld. All finding the back of the net for Clemson first half. Yeah, a pair of headers from for Bornkamp and Duff, and then really some sensational goals from outside the area from Tatum Short and Hal Hirschfeld. Well, Don, we thought we might see Clemson make a, a change of keeper. We saw Addy Holgerson warming up at half. If Clemson holds this or scores another goal here's second half, I wouldn't be shocked if we see a little bit. And there's a push through. And defended well, but Clemson going to keep the pressure on. Winner fires a shot again off a crossbar. Winner That's for the second one, at least, that we've seen tonight, crossbar. Yeah, did a good job cutting in, putting that on her right foot. And Corn, what a terrific save with the high hand. She just pushes it up enough to, to go off the bar there. Look at this, Don. She's full extension on this save. That's what that crossbar is there for. In it being pressed by Clemson in their back half, and this has been going on really the entire night. And you heard Coach Bird talk about it the athleticism of Clemson bothering his team. Well, it's kind of the, the perfect blend for him, isn't it? It's the athleticism, but you have to marry that with the work rate right. and the, the willingness to commit to defending and, and really embracing that. So Clemson just possess the ball back half. And you look to see if they can build from there. White will try to chip in and oh good feed there. But good defense there. Backside by Wells, Haley Wells. It's just able to strip that from Renee Lyles. Renee Lyles had a good run out of midfield to get on the end of that. Throw in here for Ava King. She looks and looks. and plays it off the foot of Lynch. It's well done from Duff. You need to, your center back has to have the confidence to step up and dribble into that space when the pressure's coming. Ball touched back to Duff. Good defense there. Putting a foot on it, stopping it was Massey. Now turn to Jacobson. Jacobson able to play it back. Goyla. Turns it back. Clemson just continues that relentless pressure on the back end of Furman as they try to build something. They're quite good at keeping possession, but they, it's like we talked about at halftime with Coach Burris, it's finding that second line and getting into midfield. Clemson is organized on the press, making it difficult for Furman to build out. Play at middle of the field to Bruff. Miles turns it. And they just play back. Good push right to the foot of Davis. Davis stops, but still controls. And Bino. Oh, 
Miles will just flip the field. Ball pushed out front, touched, and off the post. Just wide, but what a ball. I think that was Maria Manusas cutting inside and delivering that. And Bornkamp does the right thing. She hits it first time and puts it on frame. So we've had one off the crossbar and now one off the post here early on second half for Clemson. Corn was pretty confident that was going wide. She went down, but she didn't even make a play on it. Right. Miles will play it off. Ooh, try to quick touch it through onto the foot of Bruff. Clear to the sideline for a throw in. Another good example of central midfielder for Clemson making that run beyond, trying to open up that defense. So critical defensively to track that player out of midfield. Ball chipped in, settled deep in the box, try to fire a shot and bend it in just wide of the right post. Well, that was a nifty little play right there by Danny Davis. Yeah, she does well to control with the first touch, taking it down her chest. Yeah, the first touch is nicely done here. Back comes Clemson on the attack. Play it off. Push it back out front. Davis, Bruff, corner. I think that was Ben Goff breaking that up from Emily Bruff making that penetrating run we just referenced. Another good job right there. Davis out front. Born camp, a quick touch off to Bruff. Davis to send it in, gonna play it short out front. Opportunity here, left footed shot. Fired a little high. It goes off the foot of Manusos. Yeah, Clemson electing to play short here. Manusos tees it up, just doesn't quite get over it. Those 50 50 balls controlled by Furman. Will be last touched by Clemson. And off of Gambino. Furman with the throw in. Yes, good quick touches here by Clemson. Ruff, nice little move with that outside portion of her foot. Lyles leads a Gambino. He's going to get it right back. Going to try to foot it across and force another corner. Ball deflecting off of Diaz. Given the you know, Clemson get, pressure has just been continuous. Well, they've been relentless going forward. They could easily just sit in and take the air out of the game, but they're hunting that fifth goal. Ninth corner of the night, forthcoming here for Clemson. Clemson has fired 20 shots, nine of them on goal. Good. Backside there, ball out front. Well defended, still loose out front. Now chipped and up and over. Well, look again, you teach your backside defenders, get behind your goalie, go fill, and that's what happened there for Furman. Yeah, really well done from the back line as soon as the keeper comes out. I really thought Korn had that initially. Look, she looked like she was going for the punch. Just kind of fell awkwardly, didn't it? 
She did go for the punch. She just missed. Well, it went off of Born Camp. How many chances have Born Camp had here tonight? Yeah, just it feels like she's going to. You really thought she was going to score that second goal before she went off in the first? Scored the first goal of the night. Has had one off the crossbar. Kind of back heel one there, maybe a little too fancy. Played right back out to Clemson. Davis. Born camp in the middle of things again. Feeds it off Lyles. Lyles. Dribble tripped out front. And a draw, a whistle, and an opportunity here for Clemson. Yeah, and that's good instinct from Renee Lyles. As a central midfielder, when the ball bypasses you, you can see the foul here. When the ball bypasses you into the center forward, you have to continue your run and look for the return pass, which she did receive off of Bourne Camp. So Ava King trips up Lyles. Just about two yards. Outside the box. Furman builds the wall. See that Clemson puts Minusos on the outside of that wall. Yeah, and this is going to be direct. And a shot fired and a nice diving stop by Korn to her left. That was not easy. Yeah, that nicely designed play there, set piece by Clemson. It's a direct free kick, a little trickeration. That's by design. Gambino turns. Korn does well to hold. And Furman now with an attack. I have not seen this very often. Push it. On side, nope, offside. Far, excuse me, not far, that was 26. Jacobson drifted a little too deep. She was just caught a, a fraction offside. We'll get a look here. It's about a yard. Harper White pulling up, taking on the ball. And Jacobson just got too deep as the ball comes all the way back to Corn. And you talk about a player that's immensely important to that Clemson back line. Harper White, so composed on the ball, but she's also a, a leader with how she conducts herself and directs those players around her. Good job of stepping that back line there. Camp there was just trying to chip it into Minusos. Not so sure she should have taken the shot there from the top of the box. Last touch, Furman. I think that's the right decision. Perhaps there was a little, a little nudge there from the Clemson player. Changing goal here for Clemson. Sandy Holgerson going to come in. Hallie Makowitz. So for Holgerson, this will be her first appearance. I think Makowitz has been exceptional this year, so. Good for her to get a little breather, and you know, Holgerson will be excited to get some experience here. Herman trying to feed it up to Massey. Played well there by Gambino. White finds Lyles. Gambino. Camp feeds it back. Lyles. Minusos back to Lyles. Bruff. Winner. Trying to feed it back. Deflects back to her. Going to try to fire his shot. Got over too much of it. Hooked it off to the left. Problem for that 
Furman back line. It's quick. Winners scored a couple of goals this season. It's a good combination play here, and she finds herself free. Back to live action. Again, Furman trying to push it into the Clemson zone. Clemson has none of that. Davis gives it off. Lyles, They're trying to chip it forward, finds Lyles. Nice settle. Born camp, off on the wing. Nice turn to the left foot. Shot is blocked. Comes back out, and that will deflect off of Clemson and out of bounds. A good D here, turned in by Furman. Sometimes just got to play, got to play long, got to play big. Gave King able to do that there. Yeah, your center backs and your goalkeeper will thank you for that. Just cutting out that delivery. King the throw in. Harper White backside. Miles will feed it off. Good push through. Bino out front. Lyles trying to turn. Takes it to the end line, settles it, chips it on net and on frame, and Corn covers it up. Yeah, I think she was actually. Trying to pick out Megan Bornkamp, but Corn read it well, and Miles didn't quite get it there to the back post. Oh, push deep, and then it goes off the foot. Herman for a Clemson throw in. Rough. Winner going to fire a shot right at Corn. If you're just joining us, 4 0 Clemson. All four goals came first half. Started at the six minute mark with a goal by Megan Bornkamp. Tatum Short scored her first goal in a Clemson uniform, and then Duff. And Hirschfeld follow goals. Here they are. Here's how we got to where we are right now, Kevin. Yeah, nicely done for Megan Bornkamp. Just going back post after Corn commits to it. And this goal from Tatum Short just finding the top far corner. Mackenzie Duff getting on the action. And then lastly, this from Hal Hirschfeld from distance. See, there's the scoring summary. Clemson continuing to push it. Long run, fires it through. Could not be run down. It looked like Moeno was actually pulling the trigger on that. So dangerous when she cuts inside. She just took her ball off there. And eye off the ball at the last moment. Good look there at Emma Winter. And there's the first touch for Holgerson, the backup goalie. Tonight, for Clemson getting some action here, second half. Hi, 
Duff shoots it forward. Lyles will touch it off Gambino. Then Lyles gets it right back. Camp lets it go through. I think that she thought that Davis was going to continue the run. Yeah, just a little missed time there, but good idea with the dummy from Megan Bornkamp. Munusos trying to make a play, but stopped. Uh, just look how quickly they get numbers around the two and three defenders. Munusos is middle of the field. Davis going to fire an outside shot, lift it high. A couple of subs coming in. Back in comes Genitobia. Also, Tatum Short will come back in. Winner coming out. And also, Menuso's coming out. Born Camp shoots it off. Here's the cross. Born Camp try to foot it. Well defended, though. Furman able to get a piece of it. Now Jenna Tobia picks up right where she left off in the first half, doesn't she? She comes on immediately, drives and sends in a dangerous cross. Lyle's going to fire a two-hopper scooped up by Korn. Well, if you're going to score from distance, I think Korn has shown it's going to have to be of the special variety. She's been up to the challenge on most of these. 30 shots this evening now by Clemson. 13 of them on frame. At least the second time this season that Clemson's been at that 30 shot mark, 58 shots earlier against Gardner Webb, and there's a push off and a foul called on Clemson. Yeah, they were. Absolutely relentless in that match. Corn with nine saves on the night. In the game they won nine nothing over Gardner Webb. Clemson started the season here at Historic Riggs Field with a nothing nothing tie against their arch rival, Gamecocks of South Carolina. Three people on the Clemson defender. Now, there's another opportunity. They're going to try to push it out front. And then the ball out front is tipped away. And I believe that was Korn that actually kicked it out. Tobia just continuing to take <laughs> on players. Short feeds it off Davis. Well, that's a good ball. Korn camp. Miles. Short. Catch it back in. Lyles trying to get something. Born camp. Pushes it off. Short. Hesitates. Now feeds it out front. Lyles shot deflected. And then the shot by Tobia. Covered up by Korn. Well, so many times in that little, little phase of play, the generosity and the movement, not the individual 1v1, but just the movement of the ball. It's not a bad idea from Tobia. I think Korn was fairly screened there. Broff with a little nice move. Pushes it. Right footed shot. Korn gets a hand on it. Finally just clear. Throw in Clemson. Now that was destined for the corner and she again full extension here from Korn. Have a look at her positioning. Does well to push that wide. Takes her to 11 saves on the evening. Hirschfeld comes back in as Duff goes out for Clemson. Here's Poplin pushing it out. Short got in the middle of that pass. Gives control back to Clemson. Oh, 
And we've seen a lot of these subs. I was just thinking a few minutes ago, Don, that Harper White and Mackenzie Duff had to be due to come off. Coach Radwanski's made that change. And we talked about this first half. Eddie himself kind of blaming him maybe for the shortfall last year. Team not enough gas in the tank. Possibly, but he said because they were playing so many minutes early through the mid portion of the season. Yeah, if you feel like your team's in control at this at this stage, retain possession, take the air out of the game, slow the tempo. Clemson plays it quick. There's a centering pass. You know, there's Went no up and over short. There's no need for Harper White to, to go the distance and put it in a 90-minute shift. Davis plays it backside of Hirschfeld. Bruff turning it. Defenders collapse on her. Still able to keep it alive, trying to push it off. Nice play. Furman will push it into the Clemson half as King carrying it. Long run for King. Hirschfeld Oof. comes over. An attack and will draw. Going to draw a yellow. Yeah, and that's going to be a yellow. That's an easy decision for the referee. I don't think there was intent there, but unfortunately, that's going to due to the area of the field and the moment in the game. I think he's justified in a yellow here. It's just a little bit late. Did she looks like she get the ball first? I thought she did get the ball first. See, she hits the oh, ball yeah. first and then comes into the yeah, think, attacker. Yeah, I think she's actually hard done by that. Yeah. Yellow might be too harsh in that situation. It's the first time in my life I've ever disagreed with an official dunk. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that just, that's right, Kit. Just Even the, during your coaching days, I'm sure it's for the, the first time ever. Just for the record. It was all, you were always giving them an attaboy. Absolutely. Chipped in and headed out. That was a good delivery. I think that was Megan Bornkamp that actually won that initially. To the corner. Chasing it down there was Bullock. She carries it up. And this will be the first corner of the night here for Furman. Yeah, Cameron Bullock coming forward. Jumps on this ball that gets sprayed wide. It's a good look from Helen Gutierrez. Gets her hips around it. What well, looked like it was going to be a good delivery as well. Left foot delivery, ball out front, shot, pushed in net. Backside. Clemson appealing for offsides. I don't see the flag go don't up. Don't see it either. It's going to be a goal. I believe that's touched in by Roller, Noah, Noah Roller. I don't think there was a little miscommunication on the on the delivery from the corner. It kind of fell awkwardly between two players. That'll be the second goal of the season for Roller here. We'll get a good look at it. Ball got in there. Roller was just right there. Yeah, I think she... Did she get a touch on it? Because I think she. Yeah, I think she did. I thought she got a touch on it. Like she was offsides there. Yeah. I don't think she was the only one offsides. <laughs> I think. I also think that Farr was behind that line of defense. But if she wasn't, it was very close. Yeah. Tough to tell from the angle. So 4 1 in favor of Clemson. And I'll make head coach Andrew Burr a little happy. Well, he wanted his team to continue to get forward and, and to, to fight and scrap. They certainly did. Had two dangerous moments there on the free kick and on the corner kick. 
Thompson comes right back and fires a long outside shot. It sails high. Here's Coach, Coach Burr. Tobia firing that shot. High and up over the net. Camp touches it. Morris, play it back. Lynch controlling it. Born Camp again pushes it outside. Danny Lynch, short, nope, can't handle it. Yeah, well Herman defends that well. Cameron Bullock, nicely done. Well, that's a good um, good spell of possession there. We talked about Furman breaking that first line of pressure. They broke the second line there to break into midfield. Well, there's a throw in. Or they call it a push, they can just call it a push in the back. Yeah, Monsquero there coming in the foul. Lynch will play it back to Davis. Plays it off to Hirschfeld. Born camp. Short. 1v1. Push it out. Right footed shot. It's going to sail high. She's looking for that same opportunity she had in the first half. Right, let's go back and let's look at this Furman, Furman goal. Let's see if indeed there was any offside there. So there's. It looks like at the moment the ball was kicked, the Clemson left back did keep Furman on sides. Yeah. Good decision by the referee, but really outstanding work from our camera crew there. Roller, the goal scorer on a run. Push it middle of the field. Oh, that's well played. In the box, ball comes loose and finally scooped up. Well, that was a long run there by Mosquera, and I think she was looking for, for a foul. Yeah, I think Coach Burr is unhappy with that, but you can see the touch here. So it's a little contact. Right there's some grabbing. You know, both players. There, but certainly you could see that Bruff had a handful of jersey. For me, it's the it's the breakout with Roller getting on the ball in a wide area and and Furman finding that next level to get forward. To, that's the important piece. Morris going to fire a shot that will sail wide and right. Good substitutions here for both clubs. And Morris had. She was in a wide area there. Tatum short just as a decoy. See Wells coming on for Diaz. And Bino will also come back in for Clemson. Lynch comes out. And Furman trying to push it through. Roller. Be able to chase that down. That'll just be pushed out of bounds in Bino. Whistle. 
She's going to have to play it back a little bit further. Vino foots it out, gets it all the way forward to Meredith. Plays it off. Meredith trying to back heel it, set up something left foot, but couldn't roll her. Now controls, works against short. Plays it back. Bullock. Yeah, well done from Cameron Bullock, just being patient. Letting Helen Gutierrez drop down. She gets back on the ball. Gutierrez trying to push to the wing. And then they played out of bounds for a throw in. A couple of subs coming in here for Furman. So 4 1 in favor of Clemson. Here's how we got here. All four goals for Clemson came first half. Started here on the header by Bornkamp. Bornkamp getting started just six minutes into the game, and then Tatum short with her first goal of the year. Off the corner. Mackenzie Duff, and then yep. Hirschfeld closes it out. Furman's goal. Loose ball out front. Roller got a foot on it, pushing her second goal of the season. Ten minutes left here in the match. Send it long. Tatum Short can run that down. Show some speed. Rough. Hooser. Meredith. Rough again will touch it off. They chase down Tobia. Headed back out, Roller sends it midfield, but stopped there by Clemson. She's trying to link up with Mosquero, but she had a supporting player, and Gutierrez coming underneath. Davis will play it back. Hirschfeld. Bino, Meredith, good control has it taken away. Square will send it back. Bullock, pressure there by Meredith. Meredith off the deflection, won't be able to chase that down as Adonet and scooping it up is Addison Korn. And ben Goff's first touch was just a little heavy there. Drop kick headed right back in, but settled. Away with it comes Poplin. Once again, they'll feed it. Robertson. Robertson. Ooh, took a big shoulder from Gambino, but they play. Yeah, that was just a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder challenge. She just had leverage there on Roller. Really good penetrating ball from Furman there, though, and, and Roller is Proven to be pretty effective out there. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. That was Campbell Roberson. Go back and watch this. Bang. Well, I guess, as they say in NASCAR, if you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing. Yeah, that was clean, but Campbell Roberson with a nice run to free herself initially. Tobia just plays it back. Good patience from Clemson. No need to force the issue and go forward. You're in control. Davis pushes it to Meredith. Tatum short. Once again, back to Meredith. Up front, shot fired, and again, diving off to her left for the stop is Korn. 
It looks like Sid Eric there coming forward. Quality first touch there. And just slicing away from Korn, but she's able to get there and gather it. Hirschfeld going to foot it, looking for Meredith, headed out. Short though will jump on it. Hooser. Pushed in the box, right back to Hooser. Bruff. Looking to push it back. Still controlled, though, by Clemson. Nice job there by Minosis. Well, Don, it's easy to say that Clemson could just take the air out of the game and, and retain possession. But when you're when you're putting players in the game, they're hungry to score. They, they want to get forward. They want to shoot. They want to create chances. And that will be a throw in Clemson. You can still see they're just as hungry as they were the first minute. There, McKenna Morris. She cuts. Come take the throw in. Short all the way back to Hirschfeld. Bruff just outside the box. Meredith just inside the box. Was looking for short. Touch it off and clear, but Thompson's still going to control. Tobia. Hirschfeld, Hooser crosses it over. Ambino, Meredith, good challenge there on Hooser and a foul call on Clemson. Yeah, the, the idea was there, was a good ball in. We talked about that earlier. As soon as he goes into the four, the midfielder needs to continue the run. Here's what's upcoming for Clemson Sunday, as you can see right back here at historic Riggs Field, another Southern Conference for Western Carolina coming in. Then Arkansas at home at Georgia. And then ACC play starts. Sunshine State is up first. Number two, Florida State. Then followed that, a trip to Miami. Which I think is an interesting game, right? It's almost better, I think, to play one of those really, really difficult conference games early. Clemson pushes it deep, looking out front, wanted Meredith, but cleared. And traffic all taken away. Bruff, though, going to jump back on in and push it to Hirschfeld. And Bino. Some good run Morris. Morris. Pushes across, good feed there. Good defense out front. Meredith able to get a foot on it. But Korn able to scoop it up. Hooser made a good run. I think she was actually surprised that the delivery got there. Looked like it was going to get cut out. 2.50 left. Well, finally settled by Furman. Wells will push it backside. Poplin feeds it wide. Here's Clemson with it again. Kenna Morris finds short. Short had the ball touched away, but still able to control. And Bino. Hooser. Hirschfeld. As we drift to two minutes left. Hirschfeld carrying it deep, but realize 
Not going to pressure me. We'll just maintain the ball. Clemson well on their way to picking up their fourth victory of the season. Only one tie so far through the first five matches. And Furman about to taste defeat for the first time here in 2023. And I don't think, don't think that's uh, anything to shake your head at there. Clemson is currently ranked 11th in the country right now. And, and I really, I think Addison Corning goal for Furman has been very good if you think about it. Don. Yes. Two headers where she was kind of kind of left hung out to dry a little bit. Two exceptional shots from distance. But on the night, she's had 13 saves. We took that a couple man of right there. Off the bar. She saw Coach Red wants because we have a minute left. He'd be very, very pleased with the effort by his squad here tonight. Has played a bunch of people and some people in positions too that we have not seen them play, at least here at home so far this year. Well, that's a lot of different combinations and different spots. Tobia, and she's still got something left in the tank here with under a minute to go. Brings it down and he's going to force a corner with 30 seconds left. Tobia Hunt for the Tobia. <laughs> They had no let up in her. Well, Donna, it's so important. You talked about going deep into your bench, really for two reasons. Number one, be able to, to have the luxury of resting some players, but number two, to get some other players some good game experience. Chip shot by Tobia comes in and headed over the end line. And Clemson picks up a 4-1 victory over the Furman Paladins.